right, welcome to our inner fun program of face masks. We're gonna be focusing on seven different masks. Everything from moisturizing the skin to detoxifying, taking down redness, and just all around good nourishment. Um, all of the face masks that we're gonna be making um, all come from all natural ingredients. Things like farm fresh eggs, fruits, yogurts, spices, coconut oil, all sorts of deliciousness. Few things that you're gonna need um, before making these particular masks. You'll need um, definitely the recipe. Um, so make sure to find the perfect one after watching all of our different um, clips. You'll need bowls, forks, spoons, um, probably a sink station to rinse off your mask, measuring spoons, um, rags and paper towels, and you'll want to also have a mortar and pestle. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, again, just a bowl, spoon, and fork will work just fine. Um, but you'll notice in all of the videos, I'm going to be using what is called a pestle and a mortar. I'll go into more detail about all of the masks, their ingredients, and how to be making each and every one. So we hope that you enjoy uh, this fun program. And if you have any questions, um, we would love to hear all about them in the comments. The first mask that I'm gonna be speaking to is um, a honey and brown sugar exfoliating mask. Um, this is just so nourishing and so cleansing for your skin. Um, so what it takes is two tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of honey, and two tablespoons of brown sugar, and then four drops of a essential oil of choice. Um, I chose lavender, but other wonderful scents, also uh, lemon, grapefruit, frankincense, rose, chamomile, um, anything like that would be just wonderful. Um, we do want to mention, um, we don't recommend mint oils um, as those can have a tendency to be really rough on the skin. So um, kind of keep away from the mints, but otherwise um, pick your wonderful essential oil of choice. So first thing is you want to make sure that your coconut oil um, is either softened or melted. Um, and so we're going to um, have our coconut oil and we're going to take our brown sugar and we're gonna mix these two together. I'm gonna use a mortar and pestle, but honestly, you could easily do this at home um, in a bowl or something like that. So we're gonna mix that really beautifully together. All right, awesome. Just like that. Now we're gonna mix in the honey. So it might be a bit sticky at first, that's okay. We're just gonna kind of keep working it until it's all kind of mixed in there really, really well. We want it to be totally combined. If you notice it's a bit too dry, you can always add like a smidge more of coconut oil. So I'll grab just a little bit more coconut oil. All right, now that that is really well mixed in, we'll take our essential oil. We're going to add four drops of this essential oil. So, one, two, three, four. All 
right. And now that it's all wonderfully mixed in, it's going to look something like this. Like I said, it's just a wonderful exfoliating um, mask for your face. So you just kind of put it on your face, massage it really, really lightly. And there you go. Wonderfully and nourishing and super easy. We're so going to be doing an avocado and honey face mask for this particular recipe. What's wonderful about this mask, this avocado honey mask, is that it is an incredibly hydrating um, face mask. It's going to add an immense amount of moisture into your skin and really give it that nourishment that it needs. Um, we, so we definitely, the recipe 100% calls for half an avocado and about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of honey. Um, you can add oats for just even extra moisture um, to put into your mask. So you can start with a handful and just we'll end up adding it just kind of slowly. So let's start with that half avocado. We're gonna get him in there. Next, our honey. And we're gonna mix this up real well. So as you've been noticing, um, I've been using what you call a mortar and pestle. Um, this here is called the pestle. Um, this is called the mortar. Um, past the uh, pestle, this piece here, is actually uh, Latin for pistillum, which also means pounder. Um, so this is, you can remember this is the pestle because this is the part that you actually like pound in the ingredients together. Um, they have been implemented um, since ancient times, the mortar and pestle, um, to really prepare ingredients and substances by crushing and grinding them into a fine paste or powder. And that's really what we're trying to achieve um, when we're making all of these face masks, is to really create that fine paste and that fine powder. Um, scientists have actually found that um, the ancient mortars and pestles in Southwest Asia can date back even as far back as 35,000 BC. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so even still today, we're using this amazing instrument um, called a mortar and pestle. Right. As I mentioned, if you want to add that extra moisture, you can add a few oats. And honestly, it's really as much as you'd like. Um, the oats are more of the optional piece of this mask. Uh, as I mentioned, it just adds a little bit more moisture to your mask. If you have, um, if you experience actually really dry skin, um, one thing that's highly recommended is to get yourself a wonderful toner. Um, toners are just fantastic for really balancing out your skin, um, especially if you have um, a very combination type skin. Toners are just wonderful for really balancing it out. Um, and any of these masks, we really recommend um, after rinsing your face with warm water um, to really just splash on a really nice toner. Um, so we're um, now ready to use. So again, you'll just apply it to clean skin and leave it on for about 15 minutes and then um, rinse off with a nice warm water. So, all right, up next here at Tomahawk, we are going to do what is called a glowing face mask. 
So just to have that perfect summer glow, um, we recommend using this. So first what you're gonna do is take a half a banana. We're gonna mash it up. As you can see, we're using a pretty ripe banana as well. Um, it makes it just nicer for um, mashing up and it's not so hard. So the little bit riper, the better. So if you have a super ripe banana, that also works wonderfully. All right, so now once your banana is super mashed up, you'll then add your honey which is about one tablespoon of honey. And approximately one tablespoon of orange juice. All right, and there we go. Um, this particular mask, um, I would recommend applying and leaving for about 15 minutes before you rinse with warm water. The next mask that we're gonna be doing is a detox one. Again, all natural ingredients, and it's just so wonderful for your skin. So the ingredients that we're working with is just a half a teaspoon of whole milk plain yogurt, which we have here, about a half a teaspoon of witch hazel, about a half a teaspoon of activated charcoal, and about a fourth a teaspoon of turmeric. So what you're gonna do is first combine the yogurt charcoal and the turmeric. We're now going to blend until this is totally smooth. You'll kind of see the black activated charcoal kind of goes everywhere. Um, so just kind of like be real careful. Um, because it will kind of like spill around everywhere. So we just want to blend all that until it's really nice and smooth. All mixed in real well with each other. All right, next we're gonna add our witch hazel and we're just gonna add little bits at a time until we feel like we have a really good consistency. I'm gonna get some of these off the edges here. more witch hazel, mix that in. So it's gonna be a much more smoother, a bit more water, water um, watered down face mask, as you'll notice. So it also has a little bit of grit to it. 
Now what you want to do is with this face mask, you can kind of see what it, what it looks like. Um, with this particular face mask, you want to ensure that um, you apply to a very clean face and you're going to um, just lightly smooth it on your face with um, the tips of your fingers. You'll let it sit on your skin until it's almost dry. So that's going to be around, again, 15 minutes. Um, we want to be careful not to let this particular one sit on our skin for too long um, because a lot of times after it dries, what it's going to do is draw the moisture out of your skin and leave you with dry skin. So just make sure to um, rinse it off with warm water prior to um, it being completely dry. Um, when you are washing it off with warm water, you might need to lightly scrub with your fingertips in a circular motion for just a nice gentle exfoliation. Um, what we recommend is just after this particular mask, um, just finish it off with a light spritz of toner um, or even just a vitamin C serum or any type of face oil. For this next mask, we're going to be using only three ingredients. It's a very simple recipe as well. It just takes one tablespoon turmeric, one tablespoon honey, and one tablespoon of plain yogurt. Again, when we're doing these masks, ensure that you're using plain yogurt. So what we're gonna do is mix all the ingredients together. I absolutely love this particular mask. Um, not necessarily um, for the uneven skin part, which it's amazing for, um, but I just love the scent of mixing that like very sweet and spicy kind of smells together. I just love the smell of turmeric and just to add that like extra scent of um, yummy sweetness from the honey just like adds to this mask. So there we go. Like I said, a fairly easy mask to make. Again, um, once you have everything mixed together, apply to a very clean face. Um, you'll leave on for about 15 minutes and rinse with warm water. We're going to be doing a mask that is uh, meant to help shrink down those pores. So it's a pretty easy um, recipe. It's just going to take uh, one egg white a tablespoon of lemon juice, and a tablespoon of honey. So what we're gonna do is mix all three ingredients together. There we go. And the lemon. I accidentally got a little bit of seeds in there. It's okay if that goes into my recipe. It's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna try and keep them out, but it won't hurt. All right, and an egg white. There we are, perfect. All right, now we're gonna mix. So again, we are going to apply this particular mask to a clean face, leave on for about 15 minutes, and then you'll just rinse with warm water. For so, uh, our next recipe, we're gonna be doing one of my favorite kind of masks. Uh, this one is called the Coconut Mocha Face Mask. Um, it's a wonderful mask for reducing redness and puffiness. Um, it's also incredibly moisturizing and hydrating for the skin. So what it's gonna take is approximately two to three tablespoons of coconut milk. And I'm talking about like actual coconut milk, um, not the carton, carton coconut milk that you would typically drink. 
Um, next, it's gonna take uh, about a tablespoon of cocoa powder and about a tablespoon of fresh coffee grounds. Um, used coffee grounds will work too, but um, the more caffeine benefits to your skin for this particular one is going to be best useful um, to use fresh coffee grounds for this one. So um, what we're gonna do is mix all the ingredients together. Until it's all nice and blended and smooth. All right. So, due to the coffee grounds in this mask, um, when applying to a clean face, you want to make sure that you're applying it very gently with the fingertips of um, your your fingers and um, ensuring that you're not like pressing too hard into your skin. Um, we want to let the mask sit um, for about 15 minutes and then you'll very carefully um, wash your face off with warm water. Um, you might need a washcloth, but just very, very gently um, you'll end up um, washing this particular mask off. So there we are, um, wonderful one, again, for redness, puffiness, moisturizing, and just wonderful hydration. Thank you so much for joining us for our DIY tutorial facial masks. We hope you've enjoyed them, and um, if you do them at home, don't forget to tag us. We would love to see the face masks in action. Happy homesteading!